day one, they sold. We show you everything at Mustang Medic. We take Thanks for watching. Out of restoration. Get it. Take two. Take four. Really All right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Really. Bob's 1967 Mustang Coupe. Check it out, guys. Okay, so we can't get this door open. Can't get it. We tried the key. We tried from inside. We tried from outside. Not opening. So Mike is in there painstakingly going after the door panel from the inside so we can get this door open and fix whatever is not allowing it to open. But you can see, not happening. All right guys, so I had Nick pull the drum off because actually we're gonna sand them and paint them down and make it pretty for them. But these are the undone brakes. And then here are the brakes that are complete. And that's new brake pads set up on both back drums. So we got the backs done on the, set, on the 67 and now we're moving to the front. And meanwhile, I'm gonna have Macho Wire Wheel Man go after getting these drums ready for paint. The Macho Wire Wheel Man with big tools. Oh, we got the muscles from Carlos. He's going after, and what we're doing is, with the, while we get the drums off of the 67, we're gonna get them all sanded down and get them painted up uh, black. I'm going black, guys, not putting any color on them. And we're just gonna do black drums behind those rims to look good. Carlos is making sure that he sprays it down with purple power too and he dries them out real good yep. so there's no grease on them so the paint adheres. So they're very close for paint now. Yep. Front, back. Yeah. That's that's the stuff. It smells just like Vaseline, I swear. All right, guys. It looks like Vaseline. Look at that now. All right, Nick's playing with Vaseline at the shop. <laughs> and that's a Justin moment. All right, but this is what we used. We used powerful rust corrosion protection fluid film on the uh, locking mechanism. It looks like it just jammed up. I mean, we had to get in there, we had to take, take the door panel off to get the door open. We finally got it open. We've been working the linkage and, and here we go. Look, Mike's fixing his hair because he's going on camera. Ooh, ah! It's the little <laughs> hair that I have left. Please, it's precious. Explain, explain away. It's precious. That, that, that's called holding on to the yeah, He's trying to sound like Golem off of the Yeah, I was going to say, you know, you have, I think you have my hair cut already. I do. Uh, I do, but I got 12 strands right here. Hang on to him. Hang yeah. on to him. Hell yeah. 12. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, um, where all these three connect, it was loose in there, so I tightened it. Nick realized that this was all gunked up here. Like, probably someone slammed it shut, and then it just, because of the gunk, it wouldn't release. So we, we lubed everything in there. Tightened off in the inside where the lock mechanism comes down and the release from the door handle. Uh, Moves it in there, it's close. tightened it, it works fine. It's close, open. Uno momento, por favor. Okay, so. lock it again, Nick. All right, there's the lock position and then the open position. And then open it with the button up there. I'll lock close it, it again, I'll do it from mine. And there it is. We have a working door. No. Locked. Nothing. Grab the key. Unlock. Bingo. There it is, guys. Good work, guys. All right, so this door's going to go back together. Check. The door's off the list. There we go. We got to love that. Got to love that. Nice work, guys. So we're going to go after uh, Nick did the back brakes today. Did the front brakes uh, done. done? So the back brakes are done. The door is done. It just has to be put back together again, which is a bunch of clips. This is what it looks like inside your door with your door panel off, guys. We're lubing up the other side, cleaning that up on the pin side. And then there's the front brakes that have been put on. So Nick finished the brakes today. He's cranking today. And we got the door done. And tomorrow, we're going to go after fuel. I went and bought some hose lines. That's why uh, Unique was here. And she dropped those off. We got three sizes of hose lines, so we were, we're stocked up for future cars. And we got some fuel filters that we're going to put in. And I forgot to order the fuel filter for the carburetor, so I'm going to make another phone call. Why well, we got that? Huh? Oh, did I order it? No, you ordered it? Okay, cool. Nick is on a roll. Nick is on a roll today, so he got a new filter, so that's going to get put into the carburetor tomorrow. That's a one-shot deal, guys. When you put that in the car, when you put that filter in, 
Don't take it back out. It's going to leak fuel. Put it in, snug it up, let it go. I learned that with the, the 351 right over there. Okay. So the uh, brakes are all finished. There they are. Bob, I hope you're pleased. And the brake drums have been sanded down and they're going to cure overnight. I've ordered the steering wheel. It's on the way from Dallas Mustang. And I'm calling Rainbow Paint to get us the paint to match this. This is an aqua steering wheel. Thank you, Robert Solomon, for the heads up on that. We're going to keep this. this and, we're going to, and we're going to have this. And we found that was in the door? In the yeah. What did we find? Found a 3 8 wrench in the door, too. Oh, great. We've got a 3 8 wrench. Good one. Bonus, one. bonus, uh, tools coming from the car. They left a wrench in the... Craftsman. They left a Craftsman 3 8 wrench, so thank you very much for your generous donation. So, the wheels cracked. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. Say it only has surface rust? Really? Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon.